Hey everyone, Brian from the PT channel here to talk about the difference between a physical therapist versus a physical therapist assistant. Now a physical therapist and physical therapist assistant, commonly as a PT or PTA, are very great careers. Now this is not a competition video between the physical therapist and the assistant. Do not think of it as that. They're just two different careers that people have asked us about. So myself, I'm a physical therapist. I went to school for seven years. Now, a physical therapist, you can go to school between six to seven years. The average salary is about 62 to 70, high $70,000 a year for new grads, depending on the state, the setting, what, what you're gonna go into. So, look what you wanna go into. You make more money as a PT versus a PTA. You can do travel therapy for both careers, but PTs make more money generally. Now, a physical therapist assistant, more common known as a PTA, has two years of school plus the prerequisites so it could be another year or so so think of it as two to three years total the average salary is between forty to forty five thousand dollars you less you make less money but you have less debt now the debt of pt school plus undergrad if you count that but i'm not counting that is it between 150 to 180 thousand versus pta school being an assistant is going to be 50 to 60 thousand total really around there. It can be far less than that too. I've seen PTA schools online go for $4,000 a year. So you're going to tell me in two to three years at three to $4,000 a year, you can knock out a good paying healthcare career for 15,000, just say, make it 20,000, $20,000 debt for a PTA degree. That's great. That is awesome compared to a PT degree. Now you get your doctorate of physical therapy and you pay for that for your money and your debt between $180,000. So you're looking at really just say 60,000 worst case for PTA, 180 plus for that. A third of the debt of PTA school, check mark PTA. PTA is gonna get that. Now your average salary is gonna be less, but if your debt is a third less, who cares? You're making good money, 25, 30 bucks an hour, versus a PT who's gonna make maybe 35, maybe 40 bucks an hour in different settings and everything. More than that, of course, in home health and skilled nursing, but your debt is gonna be far less. And PTs, they struggle with debt their entire, their entire career. You can be in debt from PT school for 30 years and never really recover. PTA school, you can, you can knock that out in two, three years if you budget correctly. So between the two, PTs versus PTAs, you got to choose what's right for you. Now, a PT can do evaluations, re-evaluations, and discharges, treatments, progress notes, really every all aspects of physical therapy. You can be managers, you can do everything as well. Now, a PTA, you can't do evaluations, you can't do re-evaluations, and a lot of places they don't want you doing discharges, or you can't be management. But in some settings, in some professions, in some clinics or companies or areas of the, of the country and for different aspects, you can be a manager as a PTA. I've seen clinic managers that were assistants that had experience in that. You do progress notes and discharges. Now you won't be able to do an evaluation or reevaluation. And for some reason you can't see certain insurances with a PTA, like TRICARE or military insurance. But that's the, the kind of aspects of the career that are the two. You have to decide what's right for you, PT versus PTA, PT, doctor of physical therapy, some more notoriety than a PTA, far less debt. But if I could do it all over again, I would be a PTA. I went to school for seven years be, and became a PT and had undergrad and grad school debt and paid a lot of it down and in the process of paying stuff down. So it's, it's tough for that. I can see that aspects of, of the difference between the two. Now, a PTA, you can, you can work your way up first. I've had questions about being a PTA and then becoming a PT. A lot of people do that. I've had friends, colleagues, coworkers that have done that. Now, a physical therapist assistant, you go get your degree, make money for a while, work your way up. Now, you might have to go be a PT to be a manager in the setting or the company that you want to be with. Knowing that, if you that would be something that if you really want that job or you want that profession or you want that raise and, and more responsibility, then it would probably be worth to do it if that job would be there waiting for you. Not necessarily it won't. So you want to make sure that it's the right fact for you to do. Between the two, you got to decide. Again, I keep saying that you have to decide what's right for you. I can't say PT versus PTA is the right thing. Some people want to go be the highest degree, highest mark level that they can be in every profession. So you want to be a PT. PTA, you can go into your day-to-day -day job, be working in a great setting, work, work, 
with great coworkers, great facility, and have a great quality of life, making good money, working with patients on there too. Both both areas do that, PT versus PTA. So between the two, you got to decide what 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 you would want to do for that. Hopefully, this video helped out with some of the information. You got to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, guys, like, comment. Ask us questions, let us know what you want to see future videos on, and as always, thank you.